Hey, what it do, everyday people, man? It's your boy PJ, and today we back with another little video, man. As you can see, man, we in the confessional here at Steady Eddie, man. Steady Eddie out here in Norman, Oklahoma, man. So if you in the college town, you are just leaving the game, and you need to stop by and get your medicinal man, just pull up. Where are we at? 136 Al Mundro Boulevard, right off of Main Street. Right off of Main Street, you hear me? All right, so, man, yeah. Got the shirts, man. I might have to look for one. <laughs> hey, check me out, though. I'm going to holler at y'all in a minute. Go on and check out this video. It's an everyday thing. It's an everyday thing. It's an everyday thing. When you let your nuts what to do everyday people man it's your boy pj today we back with another lit video right in the confessional we in the office baby and if you can see by the title we about to get into some foolery some old memphis foolery man i'm telling you first 48 ain't never leaving memphis dog i'm talking about the this first 48 episode is gonna go from young dolph to all the other people the comedian the new rapper this rapper name uh Newski, bread gang Newski is de 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 dead according to uh yo money back yo they was partners and big 30 they was cousins and all these niggas is related and everybody who go to jail for this murder gonna die because this nigga in there for the murder of this nigga and man memphis jails is about to be full i'm talking about full you niggas can't stop shooting each other like First of all, I don't even want to be a Memphis rapper. Matter of fact, the next nigga that claim to be a Memphis rapper, you're going to die. You're going to die because the way it looks in Memphis is that it's like a, we call it crab in a barrel mentality. But they not even in a the barrel. These niggas is wide open. They Like you can go wherever you want to go, but instead you want to be here with all the crabs. And you're not in the barrel. And that's what we talk about. People say crab in the barrel mentality, but it's, that's like if you're stuck in the situation. Like if you got a little bit of money, if you on your videos flexing, man, listen, it's not a crab in the barrel mentality. Your ass is the barrel. Y'all, everybody is the barrel. You know what I'm saying? Y'all stupid motherfuckers. Memphis is, I'm so sick of watching Memphis First 48. Every day, DJ Academics talk about another rapper from Memphis dead. Another rapper from New York dead. Another rapper from Chicago dead. Man, it, it's the th same three cities in rotation. Oh, I throw Cali in there every now and then. I don't think Cali niggas dying or killing each other no more. And they're not killing the rappers no more. They, they, they killing the rappers, but the rappers... It's dying on accident. Like it's not. It's not somebody actually after the rapper. They dying cause baby mama drama or somebody started popping off and is they just in the wrong place at the wrong time. Memphis and Chicago are targeting rappers. Like Jacksonville, they are targeting rappers. The reason why all these rappers are being targeted is cause they the mascots. For the gangs. These stupid niggas are the gang mascots. So what do you need? What what do you want to do? We it's like if if I was playing Kansas City and I was uh the I was the Bengals, if I was the Bengals uh mascot, I would have went and shot the Kansas City Chiefs mascot. <laughs> Why? Because he's their mascot and he's the one putting on for them. That's what that's what it's like being a rapper. You are the mascot for the gang and somebody's going to come kill you. So if you want to be a, the next mascot for uh, CMG, I just put out or just drop a dope mixtape. You're going to be the next dead rapper in Memphis. Promise you. I guarantee it. And you know, you know what's crazy? As soon as Money Back Yo's friend was killed, guess where you seen all his cars? His cars was on a trailer headed out of Memphis. He was not playing. I'm telling y'all, Memphis is a trap for all you niggas that got money. Just get your money and get out of there. When you go back, you don't you don't set no dates. You don't make no plans. You just go, do your shit, and get the fuck up out of there. I don't give a damn if you want to give back turkeys. Send the money to somebody else. Let them give the turkeys back. You don't need to be there. Because you need to be as anonymous as possible. 
when when they talk about you being a Memphis rapper and never coming back and never doing nothing for the hood, say fuck them. It don't matter if you put your name behind anything you do for your city because obviously if if you if you don't do nothing, they'll kill you. If you do something, they'll kill you. So nigga, your best chance is to just to get the hell away from there. You know what I'm saying? Then just go, just run. Don't look back. I, I'm surprised they still ain't got the cussing passer. That is Matthews. I'm looking for your ass. That's what that grandma said. That grandma coming for Thaddeus Matt. He the next nigga they gonna kill, boy. And then I see all the blog sites. Every Memphis blog site, they got Memphis in the name. They got Memphis in the titles. They I rep Memphis. And they won't show their face. You know why they won't show their face? Because a, a Memphis nigga will kill them. That they know all oh, they they know they too scared to show their face because they know it. They know it. Listen. I like going to Memphis. I, every time I visit Memphis, I'm like, man, I got to go to this place. Y'all got terrible barbecue. I'm going to be honest. Memphis barbecue, y'all need to kill the nigga who make the Memphis barbecue. I went to this one place. It said we got the best barbecue in Memphis. They are a motherfucking lie. Matter of fact, look at one of my videos. I do a video at one of these barbecue places. And it was terrible. I'm going to just be honest. It was terrible. It, that's why y'all niggas be killing each other because the food nasty. Maybe if y'all had better food, motherfuckers wouldn't be dying. Y'all just need to go straight vegan. Y'all need to go straight vegan because whatever's in the meat is 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 making y'all niggas shoot each other. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's something in the air, if it's in the weed, or if it's at y'all's janky ass outlet malls that don't have shit. How y'all got the whole Nike outlet but don't got shit in the Nike outlet? Like that shit don't make no damn sense or whatever. I don't know. Maybe I would. Maybe maybe I just went at the at the bad time during the pandemic when ain't nobody got shit. But that's the type of shit that make niggas in Memphis shoot each other. You know what I'm saying? I was driving down the street and and you know the street because one of the uh, Nike uh, stores is on it. That's how I know where the street is. And I was talking about the people driving up and down the street. And, my girl was like, you, you need to quit talking about people. You need, I was like, look, these motherfuckers don't care about each other. They out here shooting each other fast and dropping them fast, quick, in a hurry. Like, man, I, I'm sick of uh, uh, being PC for you motherfuckers who don't take care of each other. You know what I'm saying? If y'all want to kill each other, go ahead. Y'all can do it, but I'm going to give y'all a warning. You have a warning to get out of Memphis if you're a rapper. You don't have to continue staying around with that dope boy gang boy shit. Like, you could go make music. Only in hip-hop is we killing the rappers. I've never heard of a country music artist just talking about, man, I'm going to run up on uh, Clay Aiken. I'm going to run up on Tracy Morgan or not or Trace Morgan, whatever. I, I don't hear no country rapper saying, you need to check in when you come to uh, Knoxville. You know what I'm saying? They are, not, they are not doing that. You know what I'm saying? Only rappers, dog. And it's so weird. Like, I, I, I'm going to tell y'all what. Memphis, you need to get out of your own way. Memphis, you need to get out of your own way. You guys are in your own way. Uh, now you have just taken away Nooski. Nooski, listen... I ain't never heard of his music, and guess what? We ain't never gonna hear of it. You know what I'm saying? Big 30, that's his cousin. I ain't never heard of his music, but he better get the hell out of there before we don't hear his music. Money Bag Yo, listen, bro, Waikisha was a good song, but if you want to keep up that good work, you did a, the right thing by taking all your vehicles to fuck up out of Memphis, dog. All right? Man, hey, everyday people, man. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you on the next video. Peace. <laughs>